All right, guys. You see that bolt down in there? Um, usually, it's just that, just the flat part, um, and this worn out. And a huge thanks to one of my subscribers. Um, I'll put a picture of it right here. There, but he told me to um, drill a hole through there. Whoop. So I took took this thing off, took this all apart, and took this out, and drilled through that bolt type thing, um, because the rivets wear out, that's what he said in his comment, I drilled through it and put a locking nut on the other side, and, so, and then you can adjust it to like the perfect tightness this way that you want. Alright, so got all my washers removed, removed all the pins, took the belt off, took all the covers off, you see these, I think these need to be replaced. I don't think they're supposed to have like this big ditches like that. So I think that holds this deck. Usually in a zero turn, they'll have something that holds it from going backwards or forwards. But I think this might be just like that. So. You see that? See, they're kind of rough in there. Some rough spot not terrible but so i'm gonna go on each of these with the deck off and see if i can this is pretty easy to get in there i have to feel it my fingers get my little dremel and try to find any rough spots and uh smoothing them out i haven't ran my generator in a little while anyway so i need to run it so i'm going to use it with this there's really no secret to it you just Set it up. Look for spots. any of the burrs so it's kind of nice and smooth again all right guys i don't know if you can tell this but these things are nice and smooth now this i don't know what this is for i guess these are weights right here and you can't notice them you can't notice them when the cover's on, but I think these are weights. If they are, I think I would like to remove these so that I could uh, pop it up a little easier because the, the front is super heavy on this mower. Underneath, there's like, there's I don't know if you can see this. I'm just putting the camera under there. There's like nuts that are like, uh, like welded into the frame. So I think it should be pretty easy. I think... You know, if I could get my impact in here or something, just take these out. All right, guys. So, I got this thing resting back. And I'm probably going to do work. This is really not not bad, but it could use a little bit. So, I'm going to do it while I'm under here. And, be sure you always look at things like this, guys. So, this zip tie must have just got old right here. And see those wires are like, the coating is like getting worn off them. So, I need to like... uh do something to maybe separate those wires and then tape them up again, zip tie it out of the way. I did adjust these to level out the deck. Remember the deck was pitched too much. You just, these basically lock it in place. Sorry, I got my headlamp on at night. So that bottom nut basically locks it in place. And you can just thread this whole thing down or up and uh, then just lock it back with that. And um, you know, I measured all around the corners. See, those don't really move. Those are just like bolted on post. Because if you zip tie it, the factory hole is right there, but when you zip tie it right there, you know what I mean? It's like keeping it close to the belt, so I think I might zip tie it something like that. And do 
24 millimeter and see if we can get these out no problem they definitely are weights I don't think that would change your life but anyway we're gonna take them out all right guys so what I did I'm trying to get under here to yeah so I tape them separately and then I'm gonna tape them together so that way they'll be uh they'll be good the wire wire itself wasn't damaged enough to where I think I have to like re-solder it because I am a good at soldering and stuff but all right guys as you can see finished product you know this possibly could give me problems in the future but for now it's a lot better than it was and I got it zip tied over there so it's away from this belt this belt it was very old and it's very loose even though the spring is all the way to get together so that tells me this belt is pretty stretched out so if I have any, you know, like traction hydro slipping issues, I'll know that I probably need to replace this belt. Um, I probably should anyway, just when I get a chance. <laughs> all right guys this be a pain to get back on because you kind of have to have all four kind of wants to go because these ones are stiff on the front so it kind of wants to go up with the front first and I already bashed my fingers a bunch of times and stuff trying to get it in so it wants to go in the front ones first but see then when you're trying to get the front ones these ones fall and get hung like right here or something like not in the hole and see so I'm almost thinking about putting the front ones down on there first and then just undoing this bolt. all right guys so what i found out pick up the front that back will drop and you can get one pin in there but then that one falls out that one fell out try to stab in my tire down there so what i'm going to do is leave one side unbolted but leave the pin in it so it can go up here because the what i found out is even if you undo it down here even if you undo it down here you still won't be able to feed it up through there there's not enough room um, there's not enough clearance so i'm going to leave the one on this side attached and just pick up the front of the mower and put that one in let's see pick up the front of the mower and just leave this one attached and the other one The other one has it's just dangling but that has the pin in the top so it will hold the post in there so gotta try to get this one better though oh yeah i think we might be in business now so put the washer put that and then all we got to do over here since it saved it, the pin saved it in here, just put our bolt back and then, you know, put our belts on stuff and we're good. <laughs> 